Hi everybody, welcome back to Kelly Reviews Christy Readathon 2021. <laughs> Definitely. So the first book that we have is called The Crooked House. Yes. So in the in the sprawling half timbered mansion in the affluent suburb of Swinley Dean, it's Aristide Leonides lies dead from barbiturate poisoning. An accident? Not likely. In fact, suspicion has already fallen on his luscious wit widow, a cunning, beautiful, 50, year, 50 years his junior, wow, <laughs> set to inherit a sizable fortune and rumored to be carrying on with Rude. a strapping young tutor. He knows them comfortably. Intimately. And, and he's certain in that in a crooked estate. house, such but as these gables, gables, Charles no one's on the level. Cast now the next doubts. book is going to be the for my of the, no parole on the entire Leonides. Maples. And then there were none. So first there were ten. A curious assortment of st a stranger to summon as a weekend as weekend guest to a little private island on the coast of Devon. Their host, an eccentric millionaire, unknown to all of them, is nowhere to be found. All that the all that the guests have in common is a wicked past. They're unwilling to unreal un <laughs> they're unwilling to reveal and a secret that ha that will seal their fate. For each has been marked for murder. A famous nursery rhyme is framed and hung in every room of the mansion. Ten little boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Nine little boys sat up very late. This sounds like um, what do you call it? the what do you call it? the 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 beer song? <laughs> nine bottles on the beer on the wall. You take one down. You pass one down. Yeah. <laughs> so nine little boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Eight little boys traveling down in Devon. One say one said he'd stay there. Then there were seven. Seven little boys chopping up sticks. One chopped himself in half, and then there were six. Six boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one, and then. And then there were five. Five little boys in in for law got one in chancery, and then there were four. Four little boys got out to sea. A red herring swallowed one of them, and then there were three. Kind of reminds me of a nursery rhyme too. Yeah, you know, the three little pigs. You know, your mother always did that with your with your toes. She did that with my toes. <laughs> uh, uh, three little boys walking the zoo. A big bear hugged one of them, and then there were two. Two little boys sitting in the sun. One that fr frizzled up. Then there were well, there was one. One little boy left all alone. He went out and hanged himself, and then there were none. Oh, that is sad. That is so sad. When they realize that murders are occurring, in de as described in the rhyme, terror mounts one by one. They fall prey. Before the weekend is out, there will be none. Who has choreographed this dastardly scheme? And who will be left to tell the tale? Only the dead are above suspicion. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good book. The Man in the Brown Suit. This would be a bad weather selection. It's a part of a series. <laughs> Newly orphaned Anne Benningfield in, is in a nice English is a nice English look, girl looking for a, a bit of adventure in London, but she stumbles upon more than she's bargained for. Anna is on the platform at Hyde Park Corner Tube, Hyde Park Corner Tube Station when a man falls onto the live track, dying instantly. A doctor examines the man, pronounces him dead, and leaves, dropping a note in his way. And picks up the note, which reads 17.1.22. No, 17.122. Kilmorden Castle. The next day, the newspaper, the newspapers report that the beautiful ballet dancer has been found dead there, brutally strangled. 
fabulous fortune in diamonds has vanished, and now, aboard the luxury liner Kilmorden Castle, mysterious strangers pillage her cabin and try to strangle her. What are they looking for? Why should they want her dead? Lovely Anne is the last person on each. Anne is the <laughs> lovely Anne is the last person on earth suited to solve this mystery and the only one who can Anne's journey to unravel the mystery takes her as far as a field as africa and the tension mounts with every step Anne finds herself struggling to unmask a faceless killer known as the colonel um this one i did not show on my sneak preview there's a hint i did not show my sneak preview in the on my live show today so if you miss my live show there here's a second portion of it i only did a sneak peek of it so here it is this is um my ac or agatha christie award deanna rayborn published this silent in the grave let's be wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave the ominous words slashed from the pages of books of a book of psalms and are the last threat that the darling of society, Sir Edward Grey, receives from his killer. Before he can show them to Nicholas Brisbane, the private inquiry agent he has retained for his protection, Sir Edward collapses and dies in his home, his, his home in London. In the presence of his wife, Julia, and a room full of dinner guests, Prepare to accept that Edward's death was due to a long-standing physical infirmity. Julia is outraged with Miss Bain, visits and suggests that Sir Edward has been murdered. It's a reaction she's come to regret when she discovers the damning paper for herself and realizes the truth. Determining to bring her husband's murder to justice, Julia engages enigmatic Brisbane to help her investigate Edward's demise. Dismissing his warnings that the investigation will be difficult, if not impossible, Julie pr presses forward, following a trail of clues that lead her to even more unpleasant truths, and ever closer to a killer who waits expectantly for her, her arrival. The Burden by Mary Westcott, a pen name for Agatha Christie. Laura frankly bitterly resented the arrival of her younger sister, Shirley, an enchanting baby loved by all the family. But Laura's emotions toward her sister changed dramatically one night when she vowed to protect her with all her strength and love. While young Shirley longs for freedom and romance, Laura has to learn that loving can never be a one-sided affair. And the burden of her love for her sister has a dramatic effect on both their lives. For too long, she has stayed quietly in the background of her stunning sister. Now there was a man that knew that Laura could love as passionately as her beautiful sister. If only she were given the chance. A story of consequences when love turns to obsession. That was my readathon. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's Agatha Christie readathon 2021. If you have any comments or want to learn more, put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to address them. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay comfortably warm or cool, depending upon where you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now. Bye.